Alright guys, I quickly want to show you what will happen if you follow my steps. This is what will happen. You will get a really successful prison with 200 right now prisoners. You can always expand it. I earned 52,000 and it's going really smoothly. There's no problems whatsoever. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about how to build a successful prison in Prison Architect. It's really simple, you just have to follow simple steps. It may look like it doesn't matter right now, but trust me, when you get further on to the, into the game, it's really gonna matter to you, because you don't have to rebuild everything. So, what are we gonna do? First off, you're gonna choose your warden. I always go with this guy. J.W. Perry Winkle, because he has the perk that guard dogs have a 50% higher chance of fully uncovering any tunnels detected, which is really important in my opinion, because you don't want people to escape, because it will lower your prison value. So, what you want to do is you want to choose your gender, it's up to you, you want to choose large, and you want to remove all of these, because it makes the game as easy as possible. Of course, you can put in stuff like gangs, events, fog of war to make it harder, and failure conditions. Uh, go. All right. First thing you want to do is stop. Just stop the ongoing things that's going right now because all you're doing is basically making people run around. And for me, it's annoying. You can do whatever you want. So after you've done that. Go in and go under your intake, the closed, so you don't take any prisoners in because you don't want to do that right now. Next thing in line, you want to find, I like to have everything symmetrical, but it's up to you if you want to do that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these so you don't have those as a stopper for you. Next thing I want to do is, I, I know this is 80 long, 160, so I have to go 97 in. This is to make sure that I have it symmetrical because I'm weird like that. <laughs> uh, if you want the same thing, you can easily do it. It's 97 from both sides and you have a easy gateway in. So now you have where you can have a fence. If you want to, I normally don't do it because uh, later in the game I have expansion out here and I don't think it's that important. The first, first thing you want to do is be basically plan out what you want to do in my opinion, and then you build it after, so you have complete aware of what's going on. So, the first thing you want to do is basically just drag a line between all of this. It's really easy, really simple, because this will give you an idea of where you want your workers to walk. Because you always have to remind yourself that your workers have to get the easiest way to get out of the prison, without encountering any prisoners at if it's possible. It's not possible, but it's 95% possible that they won't encounter anyone. So, this next thing you want to do is set up a storage and delivery and garbage and export area. So, I normally just do it where I have storage on one side because your storage has to be big. And I go normally for, oops, that's the wrong place, 1825. 1825 I normally go with. Okay, guys, there we go. And then I have one side is delivery, garbage, and exports because that are the that's the one that will have the lowest amount of items in it, where the storage will have the most items. So we go on the rooms, find the delivery, and we put delivery like here, twelve sixteen. I normally go with, and then I put storage, all oops, all that storage. Then I go down here. Put my garbage in on the left or right side. Sorry, and I have to remember I have to have a wall, uh, so I have to put that in in a second. And export is there, so we need to remove that one and then put in a planning where I put a wall. That'll be that's not too much. Go eight, seven. Oh shit! Whoops. I messed up. I'm sorry, guys. That is my mistake. There we go. Uh, I must have. 
red wrong when I hold it? I don't know. Uh there we go and delivery. There we go. And storage. There we go. And planning. It's totally up to you how big you want this, but I preferably prefer to be big. What the oops, that's storage not delivery. Whoopsie. Sorry, my mistake. Which storage that is? There we go. Uh because when you get later into the game, you will have a lot of items in your storage, your export and delivery and garbage, but not as much. Because trucks will come continually keep going back and forth and pick up your garbage. Uh, next thing in line, you want to show where you want the people or the, your new prisoners to come in and be placed. This is a really important part because you have to put this down for your grant to go through and for a place where you, your prisoners can keep the prisoners until they find a cell. If then, well, if the, you don't have it, it'll just be placed on the on the road out here, and that's basically where they'll be. And that's pretty annoying to up to if it, you uh, if you ask me. So I go nine eleven here. It, again, it's completely up to you what you do. It's just my recommendation. All right. Oops. I need a road ride. No, I don't. Actually, that's not it yet. 9-11. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. If anyone got offended. Then I put down a road right here. You want this to be too wide for two reasons. Light will be way more... Uh, you get more out of the light because it will actually look dark if you only have one uh, way street, kind of. But if you have also, if you have two, you have more... Uh, walk path or pathway uh, for your workers uh, and your staff and your prisoners which is way better so this is the holding cell this is where the prisoners will come in and be placed so you want to open this up so people can go in here where so they will come oops I started again and then you want to open up around here it's all again up to you and I just open there so now you have your holding cell now you want to figure out Okay, where do I want my kitchen and canteen? And what I do always, I actually do a special thing that I haven't seen anyone do yet. And pretty much I do this. I open up this area right here. And I pretty much remove this and then I do this. And you think, how is he gonna do this? It's really simple to be honest. I'm gonna build uh, around my kitchen and separate the ki the canteens it's really simple you do just do it like this you put in and i want 15 no uh wait wait 17 sorry uh yeah 17 uh oops 17 that's placed wrong uh nine there we go and nine actually eight because yeah eight sorry about that there we go so that should be 17 no that's 18 18 of course because that uh that's all right actually and remove oops remove this then you want to build a path around it so you have your walkers to, to be able to walk around without walking into the kitchen which is pretty annoying in my opinion if they do that so you just do this looks really simple right now you oops that is not symmetrical in my opinion um path uh planning is the most important th important thing in the game except for your economy of course and i have a if you check in the link description i have a five tip guide for you how to build a really really uh successful prison it's in detail, so it's pretty long, but it will help you out a lot. I promise you. I don't want that to be open. So basically, when your staff enters the uh, prison, they walk in here and around the kitchen. I want my kitchen to be center in my uh, prison because I want this one kitchen to supply two parts of the prison. Which is, in your opinion, might sound a little weird, but it's actually really good. Oops, there's a clue right there. You can read them if you want. If you find them, I don't really find them that necessary at all. I, don't, I just think it's weird. Uh, then I want an 18... Uh, 25... 
No, that's wrong. It's 28. I need to f figure that out. Well, you need to build a canteen. This is basically my canteen area. And as you can see, you might be questioning why I built two. Because I started the fucking again. Um, what I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to build two prisons on both sides. And it's confusing. Yes, I know. But that's really what I want to go for. To separate my minimum security and my uh, medium or normal security. But yes, now we have canteen here. Kitchen there. Holding cells. Now you think we need shower. We need a yard. And we need the ho the cells. The holding cells. Or what do you want to call them? Okay, next. Next up is the yard. The yard is something you want to be close to the canteen and the common, so, uh, common area. Because... When you have free time, or the prisoners have free time, you want them to be able to go to the yard, the common room, and the kitchen. Because some people actually go in there, just sit there. Some just walk around in there. It's, I don't know why. So those three things, always keep them together, alright? So go in, and I normally just put it right below, because it's so easy just to put it right here. If you then open up there, and have it, let's say... How far down is this? 8? And we say 8 again? Yeah, that's fine. Go over here. Oops. Down there. And again, put down a walk path. You can use this as a utility room if you like. Uh, it's totally up to you wanna, if you want to use this as a cell or anything, reception, whatever. Uh, I normally use it for what's called... Um, What's called? <laughs> Forgot now. Um, utility room, yes, for your electricity and your uh, water pipes and pumps and stuff like that. So we're gonna do this again and that again, and now we have built a yard, so to speak. So now you have a yard that is not supposed to be open. Nope. Uh, now you have a yard which is close to your common room. And because I'll show you where I want to build the common room in a second. I'm just going to open this up. The common room I want to build right next to this. So it's going to be here. And that's too small. 12. 22. That, that seems right. That seems alright actually. It's down there. No, I want to build it one smaller like that. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Always keep in mind you have to have a two-way path or what you want to call it. like so too wide Because then it's way easier for you prisoners to get around and your staff So next up is is this cells itself it, in itself what you call it? um, And then you need again right there because you want your common room to be separated it looks pretty weird, but trust me, it will work. Because the more walkway you have, the happier your prisoners will actually be. It's a bit confusing, I know, but it works, trust me. So, next thing you want to do is build your cells. And this is where a lot of people fuck up, because they use way too much space when you don't have to at all. So, what you want to do is you want to go... That is not right. 19 down is one uh calculation you, there's a lot of them where you build but let's see okay so you go in now you have it opened all right so you want to do this you want to go three make it three wide this is the smallest cells you can do and then you want to do like this and you think how's this going to help me because you want to have a walk path there and you're going to build that up and do that so and then you open up right there oops that was wrong you want to close them off. You cannot build any smaller cells than this, right? So what you want to do is do this. Oops, like that. And again, on the other side. It's really simple when it... It takes some time, I know, and you can stop the video, slow it down, whatever you feel like. Because I know it's really hard to keep up. Trust me. Uh... Oops, now I need to think. I was like, what is going on? I just have to think for a second. There we go. 
and basically this is your cells. I would always recommend that you stop here for the moment. You don't want to build anymore because it's going to be too expensive for you. You cannot, you cannot afford it with your, with your, when you put your grants on. You will get how many is it? The tension you get ten thousand or twenty thousand. Now I started again. And you have to build a shower and all these things before you can actually build the cells. Uh, I will get to why you don't want to build a shower. And that's a really important thing in my opinion because it's such a waste of uh, time for your prisoners in the regime right in, in there, which I don't have access to yet. But be a lot of people build showers when there's no need to build the showers. The only thing the showers will do for you is to make your prisoners unhappy and uh, because they have to go in the same shower with a lot of people and maybe crowd it and they'll get into fights and it's just not good. The other thing is it takes up one to two hours of your regime every day which is in my opinion is really stupid if you do that because it's just gonna be waste of time where you could use to free instead of uh, shower you could have free time you could have work hours you could have eating time you can have all these things put in to make your prisoners happy instead but a lot of people build in showers which there's no need to build because there's you can build in showers in every single cell there's not a cell that's small too small to build sh uh, showers in and all people think that is not that's not true. It is. It's completely true. It's the truth. And you cannot stop me from saying that. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fine. And then, pretty much, you have your cells ready. I always recommend plan out as many cells as you want at the moment. Plan out everything ahead so you don't get surprises and you don't do bad stuff or you have to change it all over again. Which is annoying as fuck. Let me just stay, say it straight up. Oops. And this is a, the annoying part. I know it's annoying to plan out everything, and you can skip ahead if you like to where I start, uh, where I finished it all, and I talk about it. Because I'm not gonna build s the stuff for you. I'm just gonna plan it for you and tell you about it and how it works. Because that's the easiest way. Because I'm gonna show you the tips on how to build it, and you have to do it yourself. I'm not gonna sit here and be your mother and build it for you so to speak and I know I can't build for you uh, at all but I'm here to explain you how to build the uh, places the best and how you can build an ex successful pr prison because you want to utilize the walk path the uh, regime and your prisoners in the best possible way. A lot of people mess this up because they forget that there's a, they have to walk around your prison to get to the places. So what you want to do is you want to build the places they want to be in around the same area. So work areas, build them in the same areas. Uh, free time areas, build them in the same free time uh, in the same areas. Work places and stuff like that that includes the I will show you right now includes the uh, what is it uh, laundry cleaning room uh, library uh, classroom also uh, and workshop which is there and shop those include in the working areas all right in the free time or yes in free time yeah, only free time, yes. There you have the visitation, you have the common room, you have the, where is it? Uh, chapel. I also believe that's under work hours as well. Parole is also under free time and work hours. I forgot that, sorry. And you have your yard and your kitchen in free time as well. So. Most of the thing you want free in free time you want uh, your kitchen, your yard, and your common room and your visitation area all close to each other. All right. So now you wonder why I built this over here. This is gonna be my uh, visitation area. I'm gonna close it off there, and as you can see, 
I'll have to build. It's actually not. That's that's gonna be pissing annoying for me. But I guess it's all right for this. I messed up this one, I think. Uh, but that's all right. If it is just an example on how it can work. All right. So you wanna have a visitation area. A lot of people mess this one up as well because they forget that the uh, visitors don't have to go into the prison. You can actually wall it off if you build, uh, I'll show you that one. If you have this one, you can also do this one, it doesn't matter. But this one will actually close it off so that when you put this down, if you put this all the way up to the top here, they will not be able to go pass it like this. They won't be able to pass it over like this if you have them placed down here. They'll not be able to. So that's a really good thing. So that's why you want to open it up down here. So people can walk in from this area, right? I don't always open up that much, but it's just to, to show you guys, right? So when you build your visitation, I always think you do not have to build it so that you prisoners and your visitors go in the same door. No need for that, guys, because then they have to go through the prison and all the way. It's just not smart. It's not a good idea. Just build it close to the outside of your prison, so to speak, and let the uh, visita visitors go through and into the visitation area and then walk back the same way. And no need to walk through the prison. It's just going to annoy you. I'm just going to say, and your prisoners. So now we have our visitation area. Uh, next thing up is the showers. A lot of people say you need to build a shower in your prison to have it. No, you don't need. And I'll show you right now. I can't put the things down. But, oh, I can actually. Okay, good. Okay, so you want to build your bed in the back side like that. You, then you want to build your toilet like this, right? And then you want to build a drain. And I cannot put down a shower. Oh, I actually can without a wall, that makes no sense. And then a shower head there. Now, they can go to the toilet and to the sh and take a shower within the cell. And they will do this in their free time, in their lock up, and while they sleep, if they are in the s sleeping time, so to speak, if they need to, all right? So you don't need to build a shower. And you think, I have to build a shower to get this. Easy. You just do this, you just put down a room where it says shower, it doesn't need to be anything, and then you put in a shower head. Done. That will be complete. And if you don't believe me, I will show you right now. I actually have to build around it, I believe. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna put a door there if you don't believe me i'll show you right now this is so simple and you can remove it afterwards you ha you could actually build it in the holding cell right here and then change it into a holding cell if you needed to i'm just gonna show you real quick and you could easily do this and remove it again look now it's gone if i remove it now uh demolish walls uh and bulldoze Sorry. there we go look the shower will still be uh taken as you have it and I can just go and rule it. When this is done, and you have the shower done, and you can easily say, I did it, and you don't need to. So just remember, when you have this one done, oh, I'm just gonna remove these. When you have made this detention sensor done, just go up where you had your shower, remove the one shower head, and remove the room shower, and it's gone. And you don't have to ever think about it again. Just have your, sh your a shower and a drain, or sh shower head and a drain in every cell. And you think, oh, that's such a, such much work, and it's so annoying. It's really simple, guys. Not that difficult. And what you want to do as well, besides having these, is actually go into your quick build, find the luxury cell. This is the smallest you can build it, so it's really smart. And you can place these down and it's I think they are the best thing in the game these luxury cells because they'll keep your prisoners happy so goddamn happy that it's just gonna be amazing and you can easily do like uh, this 
that was too wide. Whoopsie. There we go. And you can just do. Then you need five seven if you don't know, and just do like this all the way. And you're not gonna cover anything. Oh, you can just have these down here, and you'll be really happy about it, and you'll love it, and you'll love me for telling you about it. <laughs> so yes. And then you can have like a walk path down here, I don't know, and then you can, oops, and here, and close it off over there. And if you really smart, you can actually build like two solitary cells right there, so you utilize the, co the space completely. This is actually a really good idea for a cell block, or what do you want to call it, um, for your prison. Because this is placed really centered when you think about it because when I go ahead and come to the next rooms I would build my uh, work areas and infirmary in this part of the uh, uh, prison I will have my workshop the workshop keep it out my only the workshop down here in the bottom part I'll have my visitation area over here my kitchen and canteen and common room and yard up here which means the cell is basically in the center of the prison area or the this prison itself and up here of course I'll have my prison here and work area there visitation there and workshop here so what you want to do is keep your canteen your staff room and uh, what's called uh, Guard air, guard room. What's it called? Uh, security room. Your kitchen, canteen, security room, staff room. Uh, all in the center of the entire prison. All right. So they can easily go and take care of the entire prison. Where you want your cells, uh, or to be in the middle of the separated prisons all right so they're in the middle of the separated prison so they are in the middle area of everything so when they go and say okay it's time to be free time i can go into the yard i can go into the common room all right next to each other when they need to go to work the if you have work hours uh we say they have you have four work hours and some people are taking a school class or an education class. They will have a three hour education and one hour of work. If they work in the laundry or anything else. So you want your classroom to be close enough for your uh, prisoners to be able to go to and take the education three hours. Walk easily and fast to the place they work. And work the last hour so you utilize the entire time they are there. Always keep this in mind. It's really easy to start up a prison. If you want to, you can completely forget about this part up here. Actually, no, not that part. Uh, this part right here. Just completely forget this. If this confuses you, just have this walk around right here and close this off. You don't need that at all. And you can utilize on this and then say, okay, I have to build below this part right here. Because a really important thing, always keep your, your, your difference in security levels of prisoners apart. Because they will fight p uh, prisoners who is lower security than themselves. So, if you have normal security, they will attack minimum security prisoners uh, more often than they will attack same level of prisoners uh, security prisoners they are in the cell with so if you have high security prisoners never ever keep them close to low prisoner uh, low security prisoners because they will attack them frequently and all the time so as you can see right now we have I would I don't think I show you but cell down here all right this is my cell area my cell block what do you want to call it then you have your holding cell right there, you have your yard right here, you have your canteen here, you have your kitchen up here, and you have your visitation. 
Oops, sorry about that. Visitation area, right there. You have a common room, right there. And that is all you need to build a early successful prison. Because the later you get on, you have to build in a uh, staff room. Actually, that's pretty early, but not at, at the start of the game. So what I would recommend, guys, is... Now I'm going to show you real quick. Simply take this part off. This part off. Lock this in. Build over here. And pretty much build this as the first thing you do. You don't need anything else. Build this first. Then you can build more cells cells to it. You can build a, uh, I would want I don't know uh, a uh, work area over here, maybe a workshop down here when you get to it. But always keep in mind, guys, you have to build within your uh, what's called your financial financially area. So if you build a bigger prison, get more prisoners. If you have a small prisoner, you don't need as many prisoners. Just always keep this in mind when you build. And of course, you you say you're gonna tell me now. You need uh, offices and all of that stuff. Well, look at that—a big free area right here, where you can build whatever the fuck you need. So if you need a staff room, boom, 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 and it fits. Boom. Whoops. Boom. Boom. And again. That's not. There we go. Boom. 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 That is all this offices. Office. Offices you need. <laughs> and then you have a free room down here. Boom. You can use that as utility room if you like. You can use it as. I don't know. Uh, parole maybe. Uh, that's not in my. That's not a smart. Thing, in my opinion, you can use it as a different uh, or separated security room. Uh, you can use it as solitary, maybe if you uh, if you oh you could actually if you want to you can use it as solitary and do this and then that and then that and then that and then that and then oops there you go. You can use that as a solitary now. You can say like. That, 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 oops, that, um, uh, like that, keep that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick because you need a lot of solitaires late game. Uh, that's just how the game is. There you go. It's really simple, and if you really feel like you, you want to utilize the space completely, you could just do this, and, oops. and you can do one more down here, uh, like this. It doesn't look great in my opinion, but if you really want to utilize the space, there you have like a million solitary cells. So that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's uh, 18 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, plus fourteen. You have twenty or uh, thirty-two solitary cells right there. It's really good because then if you do a shakedown, which gonna search all everything in your entire prison, you'll take probably you probably have, I would say fifty percent of your prisoners have to go into solitary. If you have it select, I can't show you right now in the policy right there. Where you have you have chosen if you where you want to throw people to when you have uh, them found weapons, drugs, or whatever. But I would say around fifty percent will go to the solitary of your entire uh, prisoners. So it's really good to have a big solitary room. But it's completely up to you. Um, I hope this part helped you out how to utilize the space and how to plan ahead before you just do things. Of course, it's up to you how big you want to build a place, but in my opinion, always keep in mind to have this line right here. And always think as it as the only place where only staff can go, right? So that the prisoners are separated and they can't walk in this path right here. 
And I hope this little prisoner trick or cell trick right here helped you out with your shower problem because I bet a lot of you out there has problems. Everything changes. make a video on it if it's a big problem or if you need show case of it or anything but if you like this video please remember to throw down a like and subscribe to my channel to for more content I hope to see you all next next time guys peace out